minä pakenin nyt sen hullun tohtorin autolla. Heads up display auto Teslassa varmaan. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Laku captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? The cake is a lie. All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlaku killed them. This lie I think. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Yeah. This last loop battery. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. Korjaa, moottorin korjaus ohjelmaa niin asennettuna. Kärvähtänyt jotain. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. They know where we can stay around here, Kara. Kolki tää Fahrenheit ja miinus yks aste. Pirates go. Over there. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. Se on tosi hyvä paikka. This place is falling apart. Eikä se tyttö saa muutakin tästä. It's not gonna be easy to find shelter. Inside, siellä on lunta ja jäätä. Hmm. Äh, niin nääkin on kaikki aika vahvoja varmaan. 
Ahelis. Tää on semmonen maasiintokone. here that way we won't be smoked out Mukana. Vai ei toi ollut niitten kassi vai oliko se? Perheparkki, jossa on hirveä kasa luurenkoja. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Get you to bed. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. <laughs> I got polio. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl 
who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then she met a robot. who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together, to try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but, but they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met Another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live a happy life. It will not be a life of reality. But real life is not like that. Time to sleep. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Night, Alice. Sleep tight. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. Uh -huh. I might have been a longshoreman or labor. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Kara, have you ever noticed anything? About Alice? No. What do you mean? We were working here before the park closed. Uh huh. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Me and last time a robot there. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Oh, she should follow us then. <laughs> Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. <laughs> no, okay, last then, last then. 
puiston puiston robotit haluaa. Pitää nyt tuota puistoa, vaikka se on suljettu. Kenen saa jostain sähköä näköjään? The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. On pullo kädessä. Niinpä tietysti. <köhön> nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Menetti poikansa. Oliko se tytär? Kumpi se oli? Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... No, in fact, before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Okay, so boy, we got him in it. Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models. Produced at different times, in different places? I got all auto. Well, there must be some link. What is the private? What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Cody. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Huh. Uh, what's this world coming to? Huh. You seem hmm. preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it hey, something to do what to. happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. Yeah. They really seemed in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. 
What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. So you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? <laughs> Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. Eli tämä on pistetty tuon hankin kaveriksi vaan sen takia, että ne ei usko, että toi saa tulkittua tätä näin. Ei hyvää päivää. <köhön> Joo. Tämä järjestelee Androidien kapinaa. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Uh -huh. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Evening news. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks.
Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Yeah, hello, this is Detroit Fire Department. Listen, do you live at 4685 Michigan Street? Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am, there's been a fire in your building. If you can come down here. Oh, oh, God, okay, uh, I'll be right there. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Okay, sending one. Virhe jotenkin leviää. Tai sitten niin kun Androidit vaan niin kun pystyy suostuttamaan toisia Androideja. Tähän ei ole ainoa kerta, kun näin tapahtuu. Se oli se yövartija niin kanssa, mikä tämän sai hyvin nopeasti suostuteltua puolelle. I need your help. Miksi, miksi täällä pidetään hätäpoistumista ja lukossa? Niin se tietysti avataan siinä vaiheessa, kun on hätä. No okei, joo, tohon suuntaan se ei välttämättä. Joo, nyt mä ymmärrän, tohon suuntaan se ei välttämättä. Niin Seurataan. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. 
Leave it to me. Kokeillaan. Hey, what's going on here? Okei, nyt on ne huomasta. Shit, what's wrong with this thing? All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Heh, huolta on menossa. Cut windows. Jaa. Työkalut. Se on niin monahan Detroit, josta on tehty tämmönen Android-paratiisi. Toisaalta siis ne kaupungilla on mennyt niin pitkään huonosti, että varmasti olisivat valmiita ottamaan niin. Let's do this. Teri me till a Human lives. 
cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. I don't know if you're following me in any good time. What are you doing? See them! Get up! Move! to record our message. We haven't got much time. I think it's a Solana Mies who got Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Tell me when you're ready. <clears throat> ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. I got that. We demand an end to segregation in all public places. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. They're coming! Let's go! I can't move 
my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. <sighs> okay, I, he I, won't I, be able to make the jump if they find him. They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. No, nyt, nyt on pakko. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Name. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized group? Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Meepa. Nämä on ihan hyviä kysymyksiä. Nortti ei vaan tykännyt oikein tästä, että miten näitä asioita hoidettiin.